Hi, good evening everyone. This is CY. Welcome back to my channel again. Right, uh, if you are the first time joining me, right, uh, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. And today, um, we're going to try um, to compare the taste of the espresso um, from the three grinders here, right? And I'm going to use um, the built-in grinder from Breville, right, as far as the DF64 flat burr, uh, uh, single dosing uh, espresso grinder, right, and compare it with the uh, Eureka Minion Specialita, right. Um, of course, the the burr size uh, between the um, DF64, which is actually 64 mm, and the Eureka is about 50 plus mm. So there's a difference of about 10 mm in burr size, but uh, it's interesting to find out how the um, DF64 actually match up to the Eureka Mignon Specialita, right? So, um, let's get started. So as usual, let's warm up the machine. I'm going to use Breville today. Right, as usual, I'm going to do a warming up. Right, and if you have been following my channel, right, you know that uh, I usually will do a proper warming up, right? So that will include um the holding of the single shot button right until the manual comes out release it and then you let it run for about 10 seconds i have been doing this for about six months to nine months already right ever since i do this right um the problem that i used to have in the past has not returned and so far the machine has been behaving right so i'm quite happy uh, for now right um Hope that the problem doesn't really come back all right so now the machine has been warm up okay so uh i'm going to use the yunnan uh, red wine coffee uh, okay never mind let me try to use um, the brazilian coffee which i roasted on sunday right the cerrado right brazilian cerrado coffee ah, smells really nice very um the smell of the coffee is how do i describe it uh, I can smell the sweetness uh, from the coffee beans, right, which is really very good. Alright, so let me get my scale. Right, I'm going to dose about um, 18 grams, so as usual. Right, okay, that's about 18 grams, 18.1, right? So, okay, let me first dose with uh, the DF64. Right, so uh, before that, I was actually using my um, DF64 as a pour over. Uh, I, will, I will talk about the pour over quality later on. Right, so now I'll be returning my setting to about 9, right? 8.5 and 9 is roughly the setting I used yesterday to get a good espresso shot on my quick meal Rubino. Okay, let me try to move my especially star slightly. Right, so I think I'll be I'll try to have a go at about nine. Okay, nine. Uh, eight point. Oh, I think it's about nine. Okay, now it's about ten, right? So let's try to dose it at ten and see how it goes. Right. So now I'm actually using about. Okay, let me measure this again. Okay, seventeen point nine grams of coffee beans. Right. Let me show you closer on the bellow. Right. This is actually the bellow. 
so this is where you can place your cup and then you can close it with this aluminium milk cover right so um, the switch on button is at the bottom so before I switch on let me bring you closer to see the grind right sorry about that I'm actually pushing the bellow. Wow, do you see that? Okay. Right, so now when I put it back, I'm measuring about 17.4 okay let me try to pump out to so see whether i can pump up more right so it's still about 17.4 so um just now i dose about 17.9 so there was there is a actual about 0 0.5 grams of discrepancy right so okay so that is actually from the DF64 right so let's try to use the uh, Eureka Minion Specialita right same thing so we'll dose for about 15 grams uh, sorry 18 grams let's zero this first Okay, that's exactly 18 grams right but um okay let's try on my special guitar Okay, let's see how the grind is like and the sound Okay, so let's see. Right, that's about 18.2. Right, so just now I measured about 18. Right, so now it gives me about 18.2, which means there is actually a plus 0.2 grams there. So both uh, grinder is actually pretty good. Right, even um, the specialita without the single dose bellow, right, is able to uh, get quite a close uh, to what I measured at the start. So I would say that uh, both the DF64 and the Specialita, Eureka Minion Specialita is actually pretty uh, pretty good, right? They are both very good grinder, right? But the price difference is there, right? Um, the Specialita I purchased at about $900, right? This is only about $500, right? So there is a difference of $400 there. Okay, so let's look at how the Espresso is. Right, so now let's try to make some coffee. Mm, I actually have two bottomless bottle filter. Okay, so let me flush uh, both the filter again. I 
I have already warmed up the machine so I'm just going to flush it for about 5 seconds to keep the polar filter warm Right, so the first one Okay It's warm up Right, let's warm up the second one Right, let's get ready two uh, shot glasses. Right, I actually intend to do uh, a comparison with the building grinder. I think I will just forget about the building grinder. Right, uh, let's just focus on the two flat burr. Right, there's a fairer comparison there. Oh, the machine is pretty light, so when I try to remove the polar filter, right, the machine actually moves around quite a bit. Right, so the first shot I'm going to pull will be um, the coffee ground, uh, coffee grinder by the DF64. Right, so I'm going to use my um, dosing final. Right, I'm just going to pour inside. Right, um. The awkward thing about the Breville uh, 800 series machine is that all the 800 plus series machine comes with a 54mm size polar filter, right? Which I really um, don't really like it, right? But from the ground, right? I'm quite sure you can see that it's very, very fluffy, right? Uh, there's no clump at all, right? So this is the kind of grind quality. And with this, I don't even need the fluffinator, right? I don't need to use this at all, right? I'm just going to give you a gentle tap. Right, and I'm just going to distribute straight away. Okay, let me use my um, dosing funnel as my tamping station. Right. So, just give you a firm temp. Okay, let's pull a shot. Okay, since I'm using the bottomless, right, I'll be using a, a another camera view so that to give you a better view on the extraction. Place my grain scale right. Um, as usual, I'm going. I'm trying to aim for uh, eighteen grams in, right? About thirty six gram out. So that's kind of a one is to two ratio I'm aiming for. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Right, I have to switch on the flashlight so that you can see better. This is the this is from the DF sixty four. Okay, that's exactly thirty seconds. So let's look at the amount of right. I'm extracting about forty two grams. Right, so that's slightly more than a one is to two ratio. Uh, but the shot quality looks great. Right, look at this. Wow, okay. Okay, the crema looks really creamy. Right, look at that. Right, so this is actually the first shot from the DF64. Right, let's proceed to do the second one.
Alright, let's continue to pull the second shot. Alright, so let me first take out the first one. Right, with a knock. Right, the part is out. Okay, I'm going to use uh, another polar filter. Right, I think it's getting, uh, okay, it's still warm, so I can straight away dose inside. Same thing, I'm going to use my uh, dosing funnel. Right, so the second one is actually from the Specialita. Right, let me show you the, the grind. Right, um, there's a slight difference in the grind. I think um, it appears to me that the DF64 produces a slightly more fluffier grind as compared to the Specialita, right? Uh, you'll be the judge, right? You can see for yourself. Right, so let me cup it inside. Same thing, to be fair, I will not use uh, my fluffinator. I will straight away just distribute and then tamp. Right, uh, when I say it's not as fluffy, but it is still much better than the brewing grinder, right? So if you own a preview machine like my, my preview Barista Pro, right, if you think of upgrading to a better espresso machine, uh, maybe you can hold on to that. You can actually upgrade uh, to a better grinder first, right? Uh, such as a DF64, right? It's only about $500. It won't break your bank, right? And you can get a very, very good and a very, very um, capable um, flat burr uh, espresso grinder, right? So, okay, let's get ready for the second shot. All right, so let's get ready for the second shot. First, let me zero uh, my weighing scale. All right, okay, so uh, again, I'll be using uh, the popularness. Right, so let me switch on the... Okay, so uh, just now the extraction from the specialita was actually choking the filter basket so i'm going to um, measure another 18 grams right so that i can get uh, the grind darling right right uh, the part is actually very dry right so with one knock it's actually out so let me flush the uh, powder filter Okay, so let me dry this. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to measure 18 grams. Okay, it's about 18.1, right, so that's almost okay, should be okay, right, so um, I will be adjusting it to go a bit coarser. Right, so let's grind. Okay, let's see. 18.2. So there was actually a 0.1 gram difference. So it's pretty consistent, right? It's gonna it's gonna get a discrepancy of about 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 grams of coffee beans. Uh, coffee ground, I mean. Alright, so let's use my dosing funnel again.
right that's the it's pretty fluffy right mm, I think this time uh, it's actually more fluffy maybe I grind it a bit too fine just now so same thing use my dosing funnel as a tamping station Give you a firm temp. Okay, let's pull the shot again. Same thing, so this will be the second shot. All right, let's place the main scale, make sure it's zero this. Oh yeah, I should have placed my cup first. Okay, let's zero again. Okay, so let's look at the extraction again. Right, the shot is much better as compared to the first one. Uh, still flowing uh, slightly slow. But it's very, very, very honey like. Oh, there's a squirting there. Okay, so um, I'm using about 30, 30, 33 seconds, and I'm only getting about 29, about 29 grams of uh, output. Okay, so I'm not going to re dial in again, right? But of course, I can on the specialita, it's actually also very easy. Right, so just to give you a shot, uh, the kind of shot quality, right, the output is actually slightly lesser. Right, in terms of the color, right, of course, this one, uh, I've made, it, made this about um, maybe seven, eight minutes ago, right, this is uh, what we've just made. Right, so we're going to give a taste to see uh, is there any difference between the two. Alright, so let's uh, give you a try. Alright, I'll try the first one. Alright, this is actually from the DS64. Wow, it's pretty sour. Hmm. Okay, cheers. Oh. It's very bright. It's very sweet. Um, but I still I can still taste the acidity, right? Because this is actually a very light rose coffee beans. So the uh, is the acidity is actually the pleasant kind. Um, it is bright, it is sweet, it is citrus, right? A very, very fruity um, cup of espresso, right? So this is actually from the DF64. Uh, the body is quite good. Okay, let me try on the espresso extracted by the specialita, right? Of course, the temperature of the first cup will be cooler than the will be lower than the uh, second one right because the second one there, there was actually about 10 minutes difference uh, because of the poor extraction uh, on the first run on the specialita so let's taste hmm. okay um the tasting profile is different Um, it is sweet, less acidic. The, okay, slightly less acidic. Acidity is different. Oh, let me try the DF sixty four again. Oh, okay. Uh, I will say that the. The espresso from the DF64 is less edgy, right? Um, this is more rounded, 
more as uh, uh, how do I say it? it? It doesn't give you the impact, right? It, it gives you a very smooth, a very soothing and very smooth kind of espresso. Whereas the Specialita give you a much brighter, right? It's brighter than the one given by the uh, DF64. Yeah, the acidity is high, uh, definitely higher. Um, the body is slightly weaker as compared to the one done by DF64, right? So this is actually my honest feedback. So I think uh, in terms of the quality of the espresso extracted using the Breville um, Barista Pro, um, I actually prefer the espresso shot done by the DF64 uh, slightly better than the one done on the Specialita, right? So uh, this is only my personal opinion, right? Of course, the burr set is different, right? Uh, both are flat burr, but the DF64 actually uses uh, a hardened steel burr, uh, a stainless steel burr, right? With 64 mm, right? The Specialita is about 50 plus mm, right? So, um, yep, I think um, in this comparison, I think I prefer the espresso uh, extracted and grinded, sorry, it's espresso grinded on the DF64 slightly better than the one done on the Specialita, right? Okay, so thank you for joining me today, right? So this is actually a very quick comparison on the two um, grinder, right? Both are flat burr and using my Breville uh, Barista Pro as the espresso machine. So it is still capable, right? You can see the extraction is still very good, uh, just that uh, the building grinder is really um, uh, cannot be compared with uh, all the flat burr, right? Uh, there's no way they can compare with that, right? This is a conical burr, and if you're doing espresso, I believe you should be using the flat burr. The flat burr is better. Personally, that's how I feel. Because I've also done a comparison between the niche and the specialita, right? Again, for espresso, I prefer uh, the espresso extracted on the specialita as compared to niche, right? Uh, niche just give me a slightly more floral and acidic profile as compared to the specialita. But when I compare the specialita against the DF64, the DF64 give, it, give us a more rounded, more soothing, uh, and, and a, a better body of espresso as compared to the Specialita, right? The Specialita, uh, Specialita give us a slightly more acidic one, right? So thank you for joining me today, uh, tonight, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed me, uh, with me the, the, the making of espresso using the two different grinders there, right? So if you like my video, remember to subscribe to my channel and like my videos, and of course, ring the bell, right? If you want to stay updated on all my future video releases, right? So thank you for joining me and have a great night. See you very soon.